Hi guys. So I will do a review today, or at least I'm going to try because I haven't done a review actually in a long, long time. I actually prefer doing first impressions videos and unboxing videos, haul videos, just kind of on the fly, unrehearsed, unplanned videos. But today I feel obligated. <laughs> well, not really obligated, but today I just want to let the world know, whoever's watching, about a new fragrance that I just acquired that I am very enthusiastic and happy to own. So today, as you can tell from the title below, I will be doing a review on Amouage Sunshine. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's just get started. Here's the bottle and can I just say, oh my goodness, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> it's beautiful, beautiful color. It's There is the name of the fragrance right there. Batch coat on the bottom. The cap is quite heavy. It's magnetic, so that's kind of cool. Kind of just snaps into place. The gold gem on top. And it's just a very colorful, beautiful thing to have in your collection. And uh, quite fitting to be this color because not only is it the color of the sunshine, apparently, but it's the colors of spring and summer which is when I would wear it also color the color of what I think it smells like and I'll get back to that so I'll just you know just talk for a bit sunshine and wash first time I smelled it actually was when I was in Paris in March I didn't even know it was released <laughs> and I wasn't up to date with the amouage news but I walked into the printemps am I saying it right Printemps uh, department store in Paris and I walked up to the, the counter and I saw it it just stuck out I'm like what the heck is this and I'm like I have to smell it so I smelled it and I was like oh my gosh that is gorgeous gorgeous loved it I sprayed some on me and I was like wow that is really really nice and then I asked the girl how much it costs and she told me with her very broken English that it was 355 euros. I was like, mm, I, I, I would never spend that much on a fragrance. What the hell? So I'm like, oh, you know what? There's no chance I would ever buy this. So I left it alone, but I was smelling it throughout the day. And then the next day we went over to Javoy. It's a very beautiful niche perfumery, very high class. I think it's in the area of... Plus Vendome. I'm not really sure of the name. But I walked in and of course I did my regular routine of just smelling everything I can possibly smell. And then I went up to the Amouage uh, section of the store. Again, it popped out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to smell the day again just to remember. Because you know when you're in Paris, you're kind of just overwhelmed with everything. Not just perfumes, but the food, the culture, the touristy stuff, the sightseeing. Just... Paris equals happiness to me. It's a it's a great place to go on vacation. Um, luckily, I live close by. I live in Holland, and it's not that hard for me to get there. Three hours by train. So yes, I was overwhelmed. But anyways, back to my story. I was in Javoy. I tested it again. I love I loved it. It stuck in my head. I'm like, ooh, I love it. I got a sample from it for it. I got a sample of it. And yeah, just uh, okay. Aside from everything else was, I was testing, uh, I decided to give it another try with no intention of ever buying it because it's just too expensive. So the last day in Paris, we went, we walked into yet another uh, niche perfumery called Sans Unique. And uh, first of all, shout out to, the, to Renata. <laughs> who really gave me a um, wonderful customer service when I was in that store. And again, after smelling all those things, there was that ammo wash part. Again, the bottle stuck out of every single bottle in that store. Again, I tested it. Again, I got a sample because I had to, I just had to test it more as much as possible. Took it home with me. It kind of just stayed in my mind, the, I, the thought of ever owning this and the thought of how gorgeous this was. 
I brought it home. So this was in March. Now it's June. I actually acquired it. Thank goodness. And here it is. I already showed you the bottle. Here is the box. Very bright and beautiful gold detail. Picture of a sun. Quite simple. And there it goes. So it sits in there like a baby in a cradle. <laughs> I kind of wish actually that it came with the podium like the other Amawajas do. So it would have a nice place to live in my collection. But unfortunately it doesn't. It just sits like that. So this was released in 2014 and the notes... It's classified, first of all, as an oriental floral, and I would have to disagree, actually. To me, it's more like a floral, fruity gourmand. Actually, just take out the first word. It's not even floral. Well, I'll just say fruity gourmand because that's what I think. Um, the top notes are Artemisia, black currant, and almond. Middle notes, Osmanthus, Jasmine, Magnolia, and Vanilla. And the base notes are Juniper, Patchouli, papyrus and white tobacco and according to the the notes on fragrantica it says that white tobacco is the most prevalent note but i disagree and i'm just gonna tell you guys what it smells like to me and this is this is what i thought of the very first moment i smelled it in uh, in paris without knowing the notes of anything or reviews having read reviews it basically smells like apricots <laughs> and not just not the fresh apricot that you would get in the store in the supermarket it's apricots um, combination of apricot jam literally the kind in the jar that you get that you put on your bread for breakfast uh, apricot pastry if you know what, what I'm talking about it's kind of like a round thing and then in the middle there's this like pile of apricot goodiness with sugar and all that glaze and all that stuff also smells like apricot pie and uh, it also actually reminds me of mangoes and it's weird because mm, <laughs> it's not in the notes uh, the next note that's most noticeable it says is black currant but that black currant it didn't really come to my mind when I smelled this ever and it still doesn't it still just reminds me anything apricot like anything so <laughs> even the dried apricots that you get in in like say the market so uh aside from all the notes because I don't like paying attention too much to notes because everyone else does that <laughs> I just want to basically tell you uh, what it smells like as if I'm explaining it to someone who's not so familiar with fragrance. Say my mom, for example. If I started talking to my mom about white tobacco, black currant, osmanthus, papyrus, patchouli, she's like, what is all of that? <laughs> she's like, she would not really comprehend what it really smells like. So basically, that's what it smells like to me. Apricots. Everything apricots. With kind of like a small dusting of... Uh, small sprinkle of mango and it's creamy it's delicious it's beautiful it's it lasts the whole day on my skin I only need I think three sprays psh, 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 for the whole entire day it's really creamy like can you imagine like even apricots with whipped cream and you mix it all up together and, like rub it all over your skin kind of like a as if you're rubbing lotion that's what it would smell like and I just had to have it and I really, really, really enjoy it. So that's my review. Sorry, it's not typical that I go into note, um, all the notes and all that. I don't really like doing that because I just want to explain it to you in the simplest way that I can. So apricots. It dries down to a really nice soft vanilla apricot and um, if I would... If I were to say what this smells like that it can be compared to, it would be Vanille Abricot, Abricot by Comptoir Sud Pacifique. But uh, kind of like take that and then take it to the next level. Take the floral fruity gourmand to the next level. This is probably the highest 
quality of fruit gourmand perfume I've ever tried. So check it out, guys. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think if you've tried it in the comments below. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your responses. Uh, so that's it for me. See you later. Bye.